In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to continue our look at how to apply a fade effect between two clips. In the previous tutorial, we showed you you don't have to use anything from the effect room at all. You can actually change opacity settings to get that fade effect. Now in this tutorial, we're going to go into our transition room and use that fade option but maybe in a way that you have not used it before. I have two clips on track number two. First is a video clip, and below it I have a music clip. We'll show you more about why we're using the music clip in a moment. But I've muted that second track for now, and so what I'd like to do is do the first exercise without sound. So let's assume we want to have a transition a fade transition between clip 1 and clip 2. The traditional way to approach that is click on my transition room and find the fade effect. Now they're alphabetical and you can drag down till you find it or what I like to do that's a lot faster is I widen the window and I have a search box in the upper right. I'll type the word in fade and now I have the fade effect pop up very clearly. So I'll take and drag and drop that it will bridge the area between the two clips and I'll get my traditional fade. If I move my playhead back and play that segment, it will fade from the one and dissolve into the second clip. Very nice and simple way to do it. But what if I want a different kind of fade? Fade to black or fade to white, for example, which are both common in video editing. The easy way to change that is to take that same clip and drag it down not to the juncture between the clips but at the end of the first clip. And now if I move my time indicator back and play the same segment I will find that it will actually fade down to black in the first clip. Now it popped up clearly in the second clip so what I want to do is take that same transition put it at the beginning of the second clip and then it will give me a more smooth transition between the two as it fades down in the first case and then fades up from black in the second case. Now if your transition time is too long there's a very easy way to fix it. I can click on either transition and in PowerDirector 17 click on the clock, change the duration, maybe I just want two seconds here, it will shorten it and I'll shorten the second one as well to two seconds. And now I have a four second total transition between the first and the second, but it does go down and then it pops back up again. And so it's an easy way to fade using a different style of fade as you attach the transition not between the clips but to the end of each of them. If you want to fade to white as we showed you in our other lesson, all we need to do is go back to our media room and then from the drop down at the top we're going to choose color boards and I can fade to any color I want. White's very common. I'll take and drag that on track number one, any higher track, and I'll put it between the two clips where the fade effects are uh, active and now when we take our time indicator, move it back and play that segment, we'll see the same fade, only now it fades to white, and then it fades from white into the second clip. Now one of the issues with fading sometimes is if you have music tracks like these two, I'll activate them now, and you try to do a fade, the visual is nice and smooth, but the audio is not. <laughs> Now the first one was designed to fade down nicely in the music. The second one just starts very loud. Let's fade the music as well as the video. So I'm going to go back into my transition room and we'll uncheck the box for fade. Instead of all content, I'm going to slide down and go to audio for music. And here I can use either constant gain or constant power. We have a tutorial on how to use these individually. 
but we're going to take this one and not drag it between the clips but to the end of the first one and again like we did with the video to the end or beginning I should say of the second one and now when we play the clips with the audio active we're going to see that there is a smoothness both to the visual and to the audio So that's one more way in which you can apply a fade effect in CyberLink PowerDirector both to the visual track and to a music track.